Hi, welcome to another video focusing on fluency. Today we're going to look at how linking of words happens in natural speech and show learners some of the rules they must learn so that they can A. improve their listening skills and B. introduce linking into their own speaking to improve self-confidence. Many learners say to me that when they listen to native speakers they can't understand them because the speaker speaks too quickly. This quick speech is because the words are being linked together. There are two main ways that linking occurs. The first method is what we call consonant to vowel linking. What happens is that the, a word that ends in a consonant sound is joined to the next word when the second word starts with a vowel sound. Let's listen to some examples of consonant to vowel linking. Number one, will I, changes to will I. Number two, where I, changes to where I. Number three, when I, changes to when I. In number one, the L is joined to the I. In number two, the R is joined to the I. And in number three, the N is joined to the I. Let's look at some more examples. Number four, come on, changes to come on. Number five, laugh at, changes to laugh at. And number six, push over, is changed to push over. OK, in an earlier video I talked about the letter H being omitted in pronouns. And this enables more words to be linked to the vowel sound that follows the H. Let's hear some examples. Number one, is he becomes is he. Number two, give her becomes giver. And number three, watch him becomes watching. In all three examples, we drop the H and then join the second word to the first word. Now, I'm going to use linking of consonant to vowels in a long sentence. Listen. Firstly, I will read the sentence and not link any of the words. Can I have a cup of coffee and a piece of ice cream? Now I'm going to say it again and use the links. Can I have a cup of coffee and a piece of ice cream? Notice the quicker speed and the linked words. One more time. Can I have a cup of coffee and a piece of ice cream? We link can to I, have to a, uh, cup to of, and to a, uh, piece to of. One more time. Can I have a cup of coffee and a piece of ice cream? Okay, that concludes the first video on linking. In the second video on linking, I will focus on vowel to vowel linking. Now, just to remind everyone, you can contact me and make comments via my email at astahugo99 at gmail.com, at my Facebook page, John Vickery at my business Facebook page John Vickery at my passions English teaching movies and music review at my YouTube channel John Vickery and finally at my website my new website http colon slash slash www dot learning English speaking skills dot com 
thanks and bye for now.